Here's the 30 second lesson on what legends know. Never practice nunchucks in a crowded room. Never eat chole before a road trip. Always take your shirt off before you iron it. Don't take a call near a swimming pool. And don't forget, saving is not investing. Legends don't just save, they invest in mutual funds. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully. It is going to be a party with a difference, promised now Bharat Ratna. Lal Krishna Advani, as the Bharatiya Janasangh subsumed in the doomed Janata Party experiment of 1977, was reborn as the Bharatiya Janata Party. Bharatiya Janasangh was reborn as Bharatiya Janata Party on 6th of April 1980. It was Easter Sunday. Convent educated Advani would say with delight that his party was resurrected on the same day as Jesus Christ. And on that, I will tell you a story before I let you go. 44 years later now, almost to date, as the BJP heads for a likely third successive term in power, it is fascinating to debate how true it looks to that original proposition, a party with a difference. And how might it look when it turns 50, which is six years from now in 2030? The basic postulates marking that difference from the rest, though mostly the Congress, because that party defined national politics at that point and was the BJP's main rival, or, or of which the BJP was the main challenger or rose to be the main challenger. That will be the differentiating points will be one, its adherence to ideology and ideological purity, unapologetic Hindutva and economics drawn largely from, from a founding father, the India Lopadhyay, hard nationalism, humble, abstemious lifestyles like the RSS leaders and a collegial leadership. At the peak of its political power now, the party, however, shows marked elements of difference also from its original proposition. An almighty personality cult to begin with. Until the rise of Narendra Modi, the party's leadership was collective for a long time, long time led by a duo, Atal Bihari Vajpayee and Advani, who were the voice and mind of the party, respectively. The party was also competitive within. Leading from behind were the grandmasters of the RSS in Nagpur. All this looks radically different now. Modi has risen as the sole unquestioned leader. This is a fundamental shift in the party's launch model. Of course, he has earned this on merit. This lies in his ability, like Indra Gandhi did for her Congress, to get the additional Modi vote, without which his party might have struggled even to reach the 200 Lok Sabha seat mark. Remember, Vajpayee's best was 182. It now reaches a vote share and Lok Sabha seat numbers that his party's founders might have dreamed of, but, but probably didn't imagine becoming a reality in their lifetimes. It's wonderful for the BJP, but it also marks a change in its original proposition, which was opposed to one-man parties or let's say one-woman party in this case because it was Indra's Congress after all. As it goes past its 44th resurrection day, this BJP is as much Modi's as the Congress was Indira Gandhi's in her second coming in early 1980. In the course of time, Advani and the party think tank he headed came up with the proposition that made his party stand out among the competition in India. It's Chal, Charitra or Chehra. That is its direction slash method. That is, that is Chal, character, that is Charitra and Chehra, that is image, face or image. He said that these will be different and a different Chal, Charitra and Chera will define his party as being distinct from any other in the country. We shuffle the order of the three attributes just a little bit to take this argument forward. So Chal, Chera and Charitra. We just flip Chera and Charitra. On the first, the party shows no deviation. So that means on Chal, the party shows no deviation. If anything, its ideological positioning is the same as its actions and policies and stronger than before. The slogan of Sapka Saat, Sapka Vikas, Sapka Vishwas might have been written by any of the founders of the party or even the RSS. The party's method and direction are consistent from foreign policy to economics to welfare to religion and society. The next point, Chehra or the face image is where we see changes. 
the most evident we spoke about earlier on a one man leadership after indira gandhi modi is our first leader to be able to swing in nation wide lamp post election this lamp post is my candidate he can say vote for it and people will do this is great for the bjp though contrary to its founders idea of the image which in the spring of 1980 would have been the opposite of indira gandhi's congress now it has evolved into a mirror image of indira gandhi's congress the decline in the sway of the rss is in a way collateral damage though i am not sure the sang will see it that way today the bjp's ideological school is not only enjoying power and influence it might not have imagined it is also seeing many of its dreams realized article 370 ram mandir probably varanasi and mathura to come triple talaq and some more it was probably because of the breathtaking pace of the bjp's rise under modi that the party soon realized it had an hr human resources crisis it simply did not have enough prospective leaders among the rss alumni they needed a flurry of mergers and acquisitions one aspect of it is what we have seen in maharashtra and bihar where through this mergers and acquisitions chief ministerships went to the new partners the other is a wide open door for defectors from traditional rivals many of them came for easy power some because they detest their original leaders but many more are embroiled in corruption allegations and came to escape the agencies however much the opposition may talk about its washing machine politics the bjp couldn't care less what matters in politics ultimately are the election results the rest is just noise it seems to believe the bjp seems to believe as a result these acquisitions haven't just got protection many have risen to key position that would normally be reserved for the party faithful or the ideological faithful or originals this includes four chief ministers all in the northeast where the bjp barely existed of these himanta biswa sharma is also the party czar in the northeast the others are pema khandu in arunachal pradesh manik saha in tripura and not to forget biren singh in manipur at the high command level bajyant j panda who came in from the biju janata dal is now in charge of the campaign in uttar pradesh that's the key position former assam chief minister and now cabinet minister sarbananda sonowal is a parliamentary board member with the party besides assorted national vice presidents basavraj bomai has been a chief minister as well d purandeshwari in andhra pradesh and sunil jakhad in punjab are state chiefs both imported from the congress and samrat choudhury formerly lalu family and rjd loyalist is the bjp's deputy chief minister in bihar this is a spectacular change in the party's cast of characters it also underlines a change in its character or charitra as it might have been defined looking at bahadur shah zafar mark outside my window is a prolific bjp campaign hoarding it hails modi as a corruption fighter and features black and white in fact more black and white silhouettes of familiar opposition leaders among the corrupt he is up against one of these is also in a typical aap cap and wrapped in a muffler to leave nothing to doubt this is this is a party the bjp reasserting a charitra different from all the rest of them how it works with so many decent imports from ajit pawar to ashok chavan and more remains a question This week the Hindu ran findings from a CSTS Lokniti poll its findings on the popular view on corruption are intriguing it shows that 55% of indians believe corruption has gone up in the past 5 years up that is 15% more 15 percentage points more than a similar poll showed in 2019 it showed 40% then the percentage is almost common this 55% or thereabouts is almost common across income segments a little bit worse in fact among the poorest yet the bjp is positioning itself now as a party of anti corruption crusaders and you know what the same poll says only 8% of people see corruption as the biggest issue number 4 in rankings alongside the ram mandir after unemployment 27% prices 23% and development 13% after that ram mandir and corruption at 8% this is a different political era a different bjp the question is is this also a different indian voter that said i told you i will tell you a story before i let you go the first of all the walk the talk interviews that show ran for 14 years 
the first was recorded with mr l k advani when he was home minister of india and deputy prime minister and he chose the location he said that we will record at vijay chowk in front of north block because that's where his office also was i said to him it will be it will be crowded he said no we'll do it on a sunday i said it will be crowded even on a sunday he said we'll do it on this particular sunday i said all right why do you choose that he said i know that on that sunday there'll be nobody because this will come as part of a long weekend and people would have all gone out of town or some some kind of vacations or breaks this was the easter weekend and as we started to record he reminded me of exactly what happened on april 6 1980 he said he chose that day because that was the easter weekend sunday that was the day he said the bjp was resurrected as the new avatar of the old bjs bhartiya jansang like jesus christ